let's talk about a G major scale. Thus far, we've used the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And uh, probably most people will hear that will sound wrong to you. It's only wrong if I call it a G major scale, which it is not. Uh, it, it is a, a, actually a G mixolydian mode, and we won't go there. But in order to make it a G major scale, I have to raise one note. That F has to go to an F sharp, and then that F sharp, sharp leads to the G down. So I just played the G major scale ascending as it's shown here, right? G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. And I've played it descending as well. So that I don't, in a piece of music, have to write an F sharp over and over and over again because, um, because melodies are often templates for certain keys, right? Uh, so we don't want to be writing in the key of G and have to put a sharp at every single F. So rather than put the sharp at every single F, we put it once in what we call the key signature. So the key signature of G major is an F sharp, and this sharp is written on the top line. All right, so we know that the G major scale has an F sharp. Rather than write the F sharp repeatedly in the body of the music, it can simply be written at the beginning of the music in the form of a key signature, and there it is. And that's what, uh, what we need to do. So now, um, here's a G major scale with the F sharp at the beginning. Now, if we look at some uh, exercises and pieces of uh, little melodies, um, in each case, as soon as I see the F sharp, I know that I'm in the key of G major. That tells me that I'm in the key of G major. So when I come up to a sharp, let's say this first exercise here. There is the F sharp, and it doesn't have to be written before the F, and then there's the G and then descending F sharp again. And then we, we have, a you know, in this case, a, a G major scale. Here, let me read this next one. So let's try this next one. We're in three, four time. hear the F sharp in each in each case right it's not written in the body of the music and there's another exercise that's that's similar and here's a little um, a little tune and you can I'll play it through for you and uh, and there's something something in this tune that's uh, that that will be of interest and we'll discuss that at the end one two three four So um, this tune here, as you can see, we need an F sharp throughout, and there's F sharp is written in the key signature. However, uh, it appears by by the chords that we're never um, referencing a G chord, a G major chord, or or the four chord of C, or the five chord of D. Uh, in this case, we're in what looks like the key of E minor, and then it goes to the four chord of A minor, 
E minor, A minor, A minor, E minor. And so we're, we're in the key of E minor here. And, and actually, if I look at the melody, it goes E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, B, E, really very clearly spelling out an E minor chord in the melody, right? And here spelling out the A minor chord using the, 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 the notes of the A minor chord, A, C, and E. Here's a C, an A, a C, an E, a C, right? And so on. So what I'm getting at in terms of key signature is that key signature is shared with two keys, the key of G major and the key of E minor. Just count back three, G, F sharp, E. That will give you the relative minor. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the lessons to come. Great. Thanks for stopping by. And that's G major scale as well as uh, the key signature of G major that is shared by the key of E minor.